Ain't no giving up, but we gon' grind to the end. They just not hearing us. Better know what it is. Living united in truth, rebelling as people. You know what it do. Ain't no fearing us. Not at all. Going so hard that they killing us. Boldly living united in truth, rebelling as people. You know what it do. Hey guys, welcome to Thick Skin with Shalane. I'm here with Eve. Hey guys, welcome to Thick Skin with Shalane little conversation um, about some real topics and see where his mind is. So, Eski, I have a question. Um, where did your name come from? Um, well, I was, um, you know, around my, my way in Landover, where I came up around my neighborhood. Everybody called me Lil E because um, my name start with an E. So everybody used to call me Lil E. Then, along the lines, uh, my one of my OGs, he just randomly just was like, Eski. Like you know how people just come up with their own little slings or whatever around the way touching. So he was like Eski. So he was the only one that really used to call me that for real, for real. But then you know a couple of other people started calling me that. But I just kind of like kept it. You know what I'm saying? I just stuck with it. And then I ain't really come up with the name like the the acronym up for it until i really got serious with the music which means every day seek knowledge immediately you know what i'm saying so i just i knew if i was gonna run with that with the music that it had to have some type of meaning you know what i'm saying to okay. express who i am so okay yeah. <laughs> that's nice interesting so i know you're part of the blunt rap movement and um what drives your passion for the movement what drives my passion for the movement? What drives my passion is, um, I think it's our passion, if that makes sense. Like, that's what drives, you know what I'm saying, the passion. Because it's like, for a long time, you know what I'm saying, when you don't really have somebody that's like on the same page and really trying to move as a unit, mm -hmm. it'd be kind of like a struggle, you know? I mean, it's always a struggle, but it's even more when you kind of like by yourself with it. So it's like to really come together with a like mind and, you know, like work ethic and, you know, just same viewpoints and, you know what I'm saying? Just that passion, it just, it's, it's, uh, it's unique, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's, that's what it is. Like the, the movement, I know what we really about. I know what we really stand for, you know what I'm saying? So it's like by any means like we gotta make it happen you know what i'm saying and when i say make it happen i'm talking about let the world know right. what it's really about you know what i'm saying okay that's nice and so um with you being a part of the movement and you being on the same page um what do you do when you feel discouraged how do you keep moving how do you press past mm. that or do you ever feel discouraged all the time i listen all the time it's just it, it's a part of it you know what i'm saying it's like uh it's like being in a fight and getting hit you know what i'm saying like just because you get hit don't mean the fight over you know what i'm saying it just means oh i gotta tighten up or you know what I'm saying? i mean hopefully the fight don't be <laughs> over because some niggas get hit and it's done i'm just it just is what it is but uh you know it be it, it build endurance you know what i'm saying like you gotta you gotta overcome the the discouragement. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna get discouraged from people. People gonna discourage you every day when you out here trying to just show them that you really trying to do something. They don't even want to give you no opportunity at all. You know what I'm saying? That can be discouraging sometimes. But I think the the key is to just try to use it as fuel. You know what I'm saying? Like if you really serious about what it is that you invested in, mm -hmm. I think you got figure out a way to try to use it as fuel to, to, to sharpen up in whatever areas need be. Okay, I understand <laughs> that. That's, that's good. Um, so with your fuel and your desire, um, how do you remain true to your morals and values during this inconsistent time we live in? Mm. Uh, I think it's easy for me, and I'm going to say us as a movement because we stand on what it is that we about you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like we are combating what this world is trying to push right you know what i'm saying so we 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 stand to stand out so that's just what it is it's, it's, it's it come natural for us you know what i'm saying yeah you know we all uh we indulge in certain things that's of this world that we know ain't really 
uh, beneficial for us in certain aspects of life. Uh, but as far as really staying true to the fight and the cause, like that, that's just what it is. So it's easy to, to, to stay true to what we about to stand against what this world is trying to push. Okay. So you, you, you appear to be very sound minded and, uh, focused, which is really, really positive and, um, unfortunate to say uncommon in some of our communities so can i ask a question um were you raised by both your parents no i mean by my biological parents no okay and um were you raised by your dad no not my real father my 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 father you know what i'm saying that i consider my father is my stepfather that came into my life probably like around when I was I think like nine or ten maybe. Okay. Came around like around that so time. And he just like been around since. So that's 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 who when I say dad and pops and all that's who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about my my uh my my donor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So you've had a certain level of stability at an impressionable age, which is um a positive thing but did you have any adversity dealing with uh that not being your real father yeah of course especially like when you uh you know when you coming up in a certain environment where you know you young you doing you out in the streets and you ain't trying to go to school and you know what I'm saying and he he's trying to really he trying to give me game look man you don't want you know what I'm saying you don't want this life like he really trying to give me game but I ain't really like, I'm not trying to hear that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really see it as him really coming in and being there. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay. really, you know, being around and, you know what I'm saying, marrying my mom, you know what I'm saying? All that, I didn't really foresee that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I just was like, you know, a little rebellious against just whatever he was trying to do in that fatherly manner, you know what I'm saying? So... I, I feel like I made it to the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Just okay. kind of going against, like, I ain't trying to hit that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it happens. You got to learn sometimes, you right. know what I'm saying? I, I, I know I learned from it, and it made me appreciate him even more, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't like he um, abandoned me. He, I mean, when I say um, not abandoned, um, I guess uh, neglect. I don't even know the word to use, but, like, because... What he did was, once he seen that I wasn't really trying to get with the program, he said, all right, I ain't, I'm going to let you learn. You know, basically, like, I'm not I'm not about to keep trying to help you not uh, run into certain things. If you want to run into the brick wall, then you just learn how it feel. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just, I, I, like, respected him for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to learn on my own and see what path I was going to take. Okay. Okay. So what are two Jews that you'll leave with young men mm. right now? that have the same youthful rebelliousness? Like, what is something that you feel like you would say or communicate to them that you feel like will actually work? Listen more. That's number one. Okay. Like, I think, uh, you know, when you're younger, you feel like you just know everything or, or not even the fact that knowing everything is like nobody can tell you nothing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, just really listen more, you know what I'm saying? Take heed to what, uh, not even just older people, people tell you from experience, you know what I'm saying? To um, try to prevent you to have to run into certain things that you really don't have to. And then now you playing catch up in life, yes. you know what I'm saying? Opposed to being the head of the game. Um, but yeah, listen more and um, Don't let nobody don't let nobody tell you nothing that you can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I I know at an early age, people can, you know, discourage you by you having high hopes, and because they might can't accomplish certain things, they want to try to keep you with them. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's like, never fall for that trick. You know what I'm saying? Like, be who you are and really go for it, go after it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody deteriorate you. And take you off your path, you know what I'm saying? There's people out here that like they don't have nowhere that they going, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't know what they're doing, so they need somebody to just be there with them in the jungle, you know what I'm saying? So 
that's so, two Jews I think I leave. Now, that's a, like a thin line because a part of it is like listen and take advice. And then a part of it is like um, know your own path, mm -hmm. go on it, and don't let anybody deter you, right? Mm -hmm. So how would you help someone younger than you decipher when it's time to listen or when it's time to ignore advice because older people give us advice and sometimes we're not we're not sure whether it's the right advice or the wrong advice or is it based upon because you you didn't do it or you know something that is not really your thing like rap like a lot of older people they're not into rap they just don't understand it they're not even listening or they die into a certain type of rap type, but certain yeah. type right mm -hmm. um so they'll tell their children, you know, you need to get a degree or, you know, that's something you do on your side time. But if somebody is passionate, and we see a lot of people that are passionate, they make it very far and they have um, a lot of influence, positive influence. So how do you decipher the, between the two? I think it's about, um, I don't even think it's about ignoring. I think it's about understanding. See, when I'm saying it, it's two sides. Number one, of course, I'm saying, I said, listen first, because I think you got to hear what's going on. You got to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? As far as people that have already been through, you know what I'm saying? Things, people that's going through things in that moment right. to get knowledge, to get information. You know what I'm saying? To realize, to uh, to figure out how it is your plan of attack as far as life. Right. But then it's figure out what it is that you want to do and then if that's really what it is stick with it don't let nobody tell you that you can't accomplish that you get what i'm saying so okay. i think you it ain't even about just oh this you telling me this advice i don't know if it's right or wrong so i'm just not going to hear it no go do the research okay. you know what i'm saying like okay. yeah find out and then they telling you something get an understanding of why they're telling you that where did they what experience do they really got to even give this information you know what i'm saying so i just don't i don't really me personally, I don't really like just ignore or neglect nothing that anybody is saying. You know what I'm saying? Of course, people could talk gibberish, whatever, but it's like if I could find some type of or, you know, like uh, meaning or whatever it might be and whatever whatever it is that, that they're saying and then I apply it to whatever it is that I got going on, then that's what it is. And if not, then that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I, ain't, I don't feel like I'm ever just going to Oh, you telling me this and whatever, and I'm like, oh, I ain't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, because right. I, 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 I could be blocking something that I really might even need to know to whatever extent in my life. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's why I feel like find that balance. You know right. what I'm saying? Basically, and find that, try to find that balance. Yeah, definitely, definitely do the research. Do Don't research. just go with nothing that nobody just telling you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because people do that on purpose too. They they feed you. BS, you know what I'm saying, for you to be lost out here in the mind just like them, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, find that balance. Okay, all right, that's good advice, and then I have one more question, so when you transition, when you go on, um, what do you want your legacy to be? Mm. Um, what do I want my legacy to be? Yes. Um... It's, that's a, cause it's like, it's crazy too, cause I was just at a candlelight visual yesterday and like just being there, I mean, of course I had the first ex, uh, experience, but he was older, you know what I'm saying? And there was a situation where it was like, a, uh, he was sick with cancer and he knew he was, you know what I'm saying? He knew he was supposed to pass, but it was like. Everybody was talking about the days like leading up to it, like mm -hmm. coming to see him. And everybody was like, he was regular. Like, like he just was like, you know, just, I don't know, just doing his regular, like living life regular, right. like as right. if he didn't know. Or, or like he knew, but it was like, you know, what, what can I do type situation. And the energy that was there, it was all love. Like everybody like, man, he... You know, he was he was great. All he did was help people. And this, the, basically, it was all good vibes, good energy. And you could tell he, he touched a lot of people. Right. So, I think beyond, like, uh, you know, touching a lot of people and, and uh, making as much 
uh, change within my community and all that that I can. I just, I just, I want my legacy for my kids to be great. Like, you know what I'm saying? To get them a different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, for them not to have to, you know what I'm saying? For their grandkids to, you know what I'm saying? To be good. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I feel like I'm touching a lot of people right now and it's just going to grow. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like I'm leaving my legacy, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no parameters with it for real. Like, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? He the all-knowing. He knows what's really good. And when I see, say he, I'm talking about God if ain't nobody hip. So, yeah, that's that. I'm leaving my legacy. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, it, that's the best way I can, you know what I'm saying? That I can put it. Anybody that know me or understand what I mean as far as I'm leaving it by the people that I'm touching every day as far as with my messages, with my movement, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Blunt rap is the legacy. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. It was a pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in with another episode of Thick Skin with Shalane. And we'll see you next time. Blunt rap is a lifestyle. lifestyle. Real cars will we fight for. Real cars. Speak truth and they hate that. hate that. Kill us off, we just fight more. Living bold and true. And true. Working hard, trying to unite. But it's hard to match this work ethic with great minds that think alike. Ain't